Hello to the listener files, Film Guru here. So, for those who knew the channel, my name's Sean, also known as Film Guru, and I started this channel in my particular state on movies and a variety of other film content. So thanks for joining me today. Now it's been a while since I've done a review. The last one was Top Gun. Um, there just hasn't been a lot of movies coming out I really want to talk about until ultimately this film. Like it said in the title of this video, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the movie, maybe not watch this because I'm going to get, get into a few spoilers in regards to story elements and particular characters. Today I'm reviewing Jurassic World Domination. This was directed by Colin Trevorrow and stars Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, DeWanda Wise, Isabella Sermon, and a variety of others. The story takes place four years after the destruction of Isla Numblas Island. Humans and dinosaurs now coexist, which is having a huge impact on the world itself. Owen and Claire are now living a simple life off the grid with their surrogate daughter, Maisie. When an event happens that causes Owen and Claire to venture into the world, they find themselves in more dangerous situations. This is where we're introduced to Kayla, played by DeWanda Wise, a pilot who has special skills that are required. Ellie Sadler and Alan Grant return, finding themselves trying to get to the bottom of something. These two storylines combine for a fight for their lives as they battle more than just dinosaurs. As a film, I didn't mind this. I would go as far as to say this is probably the best in the, in the new trilogy we've had, only because it's much more entertaining in parts, and I kind of like what they do a bit more with the story and what we get to see in this film than we have in the previous two. Now, in saying that, I haven't been a big fan of the Jurassic World films. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. I like the first three films, especially the first one. That's my favorite in all of them. And the third one's very fun as well. These movies just never really captured me. There's been aspects of these films I really enjoyed, such as in the first Jurassic World, the idea of them finally opening in the park. I liked that idea. And there were some other, couple other things in there I didn't mind. Um, with the sequel, is I love the whole island thing and where there's a volcano exploding and you've got all these dinosaurs running for their lives and the human element there i kind of really like that aspect claire is much cooler in this second film and i like that it left us with that concept of dinosaurs being coexisting with humanity i really love that as well but i, did, I never really over like overly liked those and this kind of falls in that space for me as well there's aspects to it i really liked and there's just things that i didn't like as like the other two films but don't get me wrong this film is highly entertaining and fun and there's a lot to enjoy here it's just not as good as i expected it to be or wanted it to be and the fact it's meant to be a conclusion to the jurassic park and jurassic world franchise it didn't have the conclusion that i think we really should have had with it I when i first saw the trailer for this film and i thought wow, this looks really interesting. I like the dinosaurs in the world. I like the hu hum human element trying to deal with that and how they're trying to coexist. I thought that was really great. It had a sort of beauty and mysteriousness to it that I really liked. And then we've got the second trailer. They revealed information I didn't really want to know about or didn't really care for. And then I started to lose interest a little bit going into this film. My excitement diminished. And I just was hoping for an entertaining film, which it was, but I expected much more. I did like that they concluded a few storylines and story elements from previous films, such as the, the Maisie character finding out about her mum and, and who she really is, and I kind of liked that. And of and the conclusion with, with Ellie and Alan, in that there was the romance between them in the original film, and then they never really reconnected that well until this film. And it, I just felt that arc was really... So I'll start with the stuff I did like. I like the returning characters. Owen's a really interesting character and I like what Chris Pratt does with that character. He's a character you can get behind and he's funny but very strong and you believe him as this action man and you really like that character. I think he gave the, the Owen character a lot more heart and depth than we've seen in the previous films that I really liked. I liked Claire and Bryce Dallas Howard. I like how she plays this character. I like how she started in Jurassic World, the first film that we didn't really connect to her with her at all and she, obviously the whole thing was her running around high heels which was silly but as the films have progressed her character has as well and she's become quite an interesting character i thought she was more interesting in the in the second film but i definitely like what she's what she brings to to claire and in the character herself and the relationship between her and owen and Maisie, which i really liked and she really goes through the the shit so to speak in a lot of things especially in regards to a plane crash sequence where she's shot it, ejected out and what she has to go through there is really interesting as well and i kind of like what they did with that and obviously 
the big thing of Laura Dern and, and Sam Neill and Jeff Goldblum coming back, which is really great. It's good to see these characters again that we first met in the first one and we've seen bits and pieces of through the, the, the ultimate sequels to the original film. Sam Neill I really like. I, I, I like that he's sort of comfortable in this character as Alan Grant. And his character feels in ways like Indiana Jones and these, these splashes of that, especially towards the end and ultimately the way he's dressed and there's a whole sequence where he, he, he drops his hat and, and Ellie says to him, it's just a hat, but it has this sort of Indiana Jones moment where he has to grab it because it's really important to him and I kind of like that. And I, I liked he was kind of this grumpy character who didn't really, really want to get involved but was following Ellie and wanted to be part of the journey she was going on and that's why he got involved in this. But there's always this fear with him or this unhappiness in regards to being in the situation he finds himself in. All three of them really felt like the characters we've met. They've evolved a little bit, but, but it felt really nostalgic and I loved that. And I, I really liked that they brought those characters in and that they had their own sort of story and story arc within the movie. The real standout for me here is newcomer DeWanda Wise, who plays Kayla. What a great performance. Kayla is one of the coolest characters I've seen in this universe, in any film really. And there was a, something article I, I read or looked at that she, they ultimately saying she's the Han Solo of the Jurassic World franchise. And I'm like, I think she is too. She's so cool and interesting. She's a pilot and a smuggler like Han Solo himself. She doesn't want to get involved in things, but there comes a point where she has to. She gets swept up in things. She, she's just really cool and kick ass and you get to, she has some really great moments. You know, there's a whole plane crash sequence, which is really great, which I really loved. That is well done. I like the introduction of a character. We get a glimpse of her and then we see her in this black market sort of underground sort of place in Malta where you sort of really get to see who she is, that she is this smuggler and she, she does these jobs for money and she goes from job to job. But that isn't until she gets mixed up in this whole thing and tries to do the right thing. And it's, it's kind of interesting what she does. And I really love the scenes between her and Owen because she shares the screen more, more with him than any of the other characters in the movie. She has her, some really heroic moments and is really the hero of the film in a lot of ways. And I loved that. I thought she was such a great character. I felt they could have done a bit more with her and I would love to see a whole movie just based on her character because I thought she was really brilliant. There's some really great action scenes and sequences in the film. The whole Malta sequence is really great. It did, however, have, feel a little bit like James Bond and Jason Bourne and those sort of spy-esque films just in what transpires. The CIA comes into this, which I thought was really odd. It was introducing these people that had never been part of that world, and I just felt it. I just felt like it was trying to be, trying to collect all of these ideas and just try and inject them into this to try and be like those other franchises. And, and I just felt that was a bit distracting. This the sequence where Owen's getting chased by raptors and he's on a motorbike. That's a really great sequence as well, which we saw from the trailer. I really liked that. Like I mentioned, the plane crash sequence and Claire and Owen and, and Kayla and what happens there is really great. And the third act of the film, the conclusion, I really like that as well. The, the, the fight with the dinosaurs, the T-Rex and the new sort of dinosaur. Uh, I liked how the, both franchises in a way, both lots of characters come together and it's the first time we see all the characters together because they've sort of split the film in two in a way where Ellie and Alan are going off on their own journey and then Owen and Claire and Maisie and Kayla are going off on their journey. And it isn't until they reach their destination that they all come together. And like, like I mentioned, there are things I didn't like as much about the film. I really wanted to see more of the dinosaurs in the world and the interaction and coexistence between humans and dinosaurs. And we saw glimpses of that and those sequences were really great and beautiful and nice. But I just felt I wanted more of that. I felt it should have taken place there rather than what they chose to do. It just had a bit more of an impact and interest for me than anything else in the movie. It felt like, like how Star Wars kept, with the new Star Wars films, they kept bringing back the Death Star all the time. Like that was the big thing. These films have a habit of doing something similar where it's like in the first film it was a park. And then we got a, you know, then we're on another island, which was cool. The two and three were good because they were off in, on a different island, which I really liked. The original films, the Jurassic World 
films were similar in the first one's a park which is opened but that's a park the second one they end up somewhere with this sort of is an evil corporation trying to take control of everything and in this third one it's the same thing we end up at a, a compound or a place where these you know corrupt company a corrupt corporation trying to take control and it just felt like we've seen this before and i just felt like we're doing it all over again. They're just copying the first three films like Star Wars did with the original films to the, the sequels upon that. I just expected a bit more, I guess. The film was ultimately trying to go really big, which it did, but it just felt in its two and a half hour runtime, it didn't really add much to it, to the story or what was going on. There was just entertaining, you know, sequences throughout and some really interesting character interaction and development. But they never really went as big as they could have. It looked big, but just didn't feel big. And I was really disappointed in that. There are characters in it too who don't get their comeuppance or don't get something coming to them because of what they've done. And it's like they're trying to make these characters redeemable, but I just feel there's no consequences to what they've done in the previous films. And I think there should have been. The original film with the Dennis Nendry character, the character who's stealing the DNA of the dinosaurs and going to sell it to somebody. That sort of returns here and they conclude that sort of thing. And it was like maybe this corporation, Biosyn, was the one who wanted to buy the DNA in the original film. I thought that was an interesting connection there and a good tie-in. I'm going to give Jurassic World Domination three and a half out of five. Like I mentioned, it was probably my favourite out of the trilogy of the new films, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. But I was still very entertained. Uh, in the sequence that they had in the film and I did enjoy my experience to a point. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe down the bottom, follow me on Letterboxd and Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.